I've learned over the years that I'm not alone. Thousands of people from around the world risk their lives protecting their way of life. Their rights over food, water, clean air, and land, they stand up for their basic human rights. We risk our lives for it. When Honduran environmental activist and indigenous leader, Bata Cáceres, was killed, the world seemed to finally take notice. But this isn't just about indigenous communities, the poor, the marginalized. This is about everyone because environmental rights are enshrined in over 100 constitutions. Even with so many people recognizing their rights, often people are unable to assert them when business or government are not held accountable for environmental violations. But more and more people are using the law to challenge those who violate environmental rights. From the United States of America, where 21 youth are suing the government for failing to protect them from impacts of climate change, and China, where a new environmental law has enabled groups to file a successful lawsuit against a mining company for polluting a major city. To India, where the Supreme Court sided with the Dongria Konth tribe in a 12-year battle against mining bauxite on their land by giving the community control over the project. But they and we can't do it alone. There's strength and courage in numbers. So find out what's going on in your community or online. Get involved and participate in environmental decision making. Empower yourself, empower those around you.